All right, guys. Today we're gonna pull some underspin jig heads. I'm getting ready for the 2018 fishing season, and my first lake is a deep herring lake. So I got me a a do it underspin mold here. It is the herring head underspin. Uh, I wanted bigger hooks in this mold. Uh, here it only says it go up to two odd hooks but I want to put a five and four out hooks in them so I modified this mold uh, to accept the bigger five out and a four out hook this is a four out hook uh, where the the hook eye goes in this mold I got my Dremel tool and I wallet out this hole where that hook goes to accept the bigger hook and also right here the groove part where the hooks fit into the uh, the mold I widen that out with a uh, a small uh, file that had an edge on it so for that can accept that so what we got here we got some owner four out hooks and some owner five out hooks and we also got this is the part number for the the wire that holds the actual spinning blade on the on the jig head uh, like I said this is the part number for that and so what I got is I got my mold heated up I had it sitting on top of my melting pot my melting pot is is hot and we're gonna move over to that and see if we can pour a couple of these heads up and show you the process on that okay what you want to do, you want to put your mold on top of your melting pot to get the mold at a good operating temperature because if you used it cold and you just pulled the, the hot lead down in that mold, it would would get hard before it got down into the bottom of that mold where the keeper is and everything. So you want to get it up there and leave it up there for, you know, two, three minutes just to get it nice and warm. Uh, so when we pour it, it would uh, go into all the cavities of the mold. So once we get this out, like I said, this mold is pretty warm right now, uh, but they got nice wooden handles on it that you can hold it. Uh, we want to go back over here to, to the uh, table here. Okay, back over at the table, we're going to place the hook down in the uh, spot that holds the hook. And we want to get one of the uh, wires for the, for the uh, actual spinning blade and they got a place right here where these uh, wires go so we're gonna try to place that in there when you got big hands this is kinda tedious so we want to make sure it's down in the groove good uh, the hooks down in the groove good we want to close this mold we want to close it very carefully for the hook and the uh, wire doesn't jump out and we want to look at it make sure it's got no big gaps in that line right there so when we're gonna go back over to the pot and actually pour the lead down in the top of this mold okay back over at the uh, melting pot here on the bottom I have a uh, just a piece of metal that I like to use to set my mold on for I can have a nice base to set the mold on I won't be in the air trying to hold it straight up under that spout where the uh, lead comes out. So what I want to do now is I just I like to check mine make sure the uh, lead is coming out nice and even in a nice stream because if you don't uh, it won't pull all the way through the mold and like I said I had my mold on top of the uh, uh, the melting pot getting it nice and warm for uh, the lead would go down in there and won't harden up soon as it touches the mold so uh, we're going to place the mold up under the uh, melting pot and this handle right here you lift it up and it lets the lead come out the bottom so let's try the, uh, to pull this one and see how it works so what I like to do like I said I like to hold this about five ten seconds just before I open it the, the, before I know it's uh, is hardened up inside so when I open it up as you can see this one the little keeper on the end it actually pulled the keeper which is a good one 
so when I pull it out it has the uh, the small keeper that's on the back of this of this uh, jig head and this is a good one like I said the uh, part here that holds the actual spinning blade is in there nice and tight and like I said you got a piece on the front that I just go back and forth with it and I had to break it off and like I said I got a little small overrun on the top and I like to uh, get my small file and I just just go over slightly to knock those I call overruns down and any other kind of slag that you might have on the outside just to smooth it smooth it down just just barely go over with the file and that would make it a nice underspin jig head ready to go uh, as you can see all we need to do is paint that up uh, put the actual spinning blade on crimp this uh, wire here for this uh, blade won't come off and you got your underhead spin and that's pretty much all you have to do uh, like I said this one turned out real good sometimes I would have to get my straight file and undercut the back side of this this keeper here uh, just to make it nice and sharp uh, for uh, you have a nice keeper to keep your uh, whatever plastic you put on the back of it uh, but that's it fellas you know that's that's pretty much it I mean uh, like I said I just this is a four out hook I modified the uh, mold to accept four and five out hooks and uh, I believe we are ready to go catch some fish with this one alright one other thing I want to show you real quick is uh, a lot of these you're gonna have mistakes you're gonna have it where it doesn't pour the keeper on the back uh, and then the whole mold just doesn't fill up uh, but like I said, this is not waste. You don't have to throw these away. You know, you can you can reclaim your hooks and your uh, wire here for the uh, spinner part of it. Uh, what I like to do is I got my propane torch and I got it running. Uh, but I'm working on a granite top table here. Uh, you could probably do anything other than something that'll burn. Like you don't want to do this on a wooden table or that type of stuff. What I like to do is I just like to get my jig head. That's, that's not any good and just heat that up and you can melt that lead right back off of it now you got the the hook back uh, you can do you know all your mistakes and you don't have to re buy hooks and and keep a wire and all that good stuff you can just melt that off get your hook back and as for the keeper in here the, the little wire here uh, I like to just get I got an old jig head that I just used to try to put through that little hole on that the wire and I can just get that back and I can reuse that uh, same with this other one here uh, like I said you just heat that lead up and it'll it'll come right off and and you can reuse it and that way you don't have any uh waste all right guys you know that's it you know like I said and and I probably uh, like the hooks were uh, like eight dollars for 25 of them uh, so I can get 25 uh, underspins and the wires was like uh, another four or five dollars for a hundred of them uh, I just if I had to guess I probably got uh, <laughs> maybe 50 cent in each one of these uh, and I can like I, said, I can make 25 off of 25 set of hooks and you know they just pennies on a dollar so I can throw this anywhere I want to and I'm not worried about getting hung up or anything I just break it off and get me another one uh, so that makes that lets me uh, fish even even more open uh, I don't have to worry about uh, if you go to store, you might get three of these for four or five dollars for a pack of them. You know, a pack of three, uh, which and I got I got fifty cent maybe in each one of them I got. So, but other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, 
and like I said I'm getting ready for the 2018 fishing season so I got a couple more things I need to do and uh, hopefully I can get a good video each one of them and other than that guys I appreciate you watching to the next video we'll see you